In this video, I want to talk about security. This is a no-brainer. Security on any e-commerce platform should be one of your main concerns. And so let me give you some of the basics. Number one, your site should be secure overall. That means every page on your website should be prefaced with HTTPS, which indicates that you have a security certificate active on your site. If you don't, stop right now. Don't do another thing with your web store and go and get a security certificate. There are a lot of different options. The first place you should talk to is your web host. You can get a free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt, which is at letsencrypt.org. But again, working with your web host, they'll help you out here tremendously. Number two, protect yourself against brute force attacks. Jetpack is what you need here. They have a fantastic free feature called Protect. This feature notices if any WordPress sites are being attacked by brute force and log their IP. It will automatically protect every other WordPress site from those attackers. It should be turned on automatically once you connect to WordPress.com. To make sure it's on, head back over to Jetpack, Settings, click on Security, and you can see it's turned on here. There are some upgrades that you can get, but that's the bare minimum. Let's talk about protecting users' payment information. Luckily, WooCommerce handles most of this for us. With an SL search certificate, we protect logins and credit card numbers, and any payment gateway you find on WooCommerce.com always uses proper security standards. You do need to spend a few minutes thinking about PCI compliance, however. PCI stands for Payment Card Industry. It's the standard for using credit cards in person or online. The nice thing with using something like Stripe Technically, they're handling the credit cards, but this is an area which you should investigate in order to make sure you're compliant. One final thought in this, it's my personal opinion that no e-commerce store should store credit cards on their servers, especially a small business. If your payment gateway saved physical numbers somewhere, you could be liable for stolen numbers. So let's talk about tokenization. All good developers know about tokenization. They store a token that allows only their store to reuse that credit card number. They don't store the number itself, so it can't be stolen. Any official gateways of WooCommerce.com use tokenization instead of manually storing numbers. This is incredibly important. It's another one of the reasons we suggest that you use official WooCommerce.com plugins. When it comes to accepting payment, Use some of the free options from WooCommerce.com, such as PayPal or Stripe, or get one of the paid payment gateways. In this area, it is so much better to be safe than sorry. Lastly, please always keep your WordPress site up to date. You may have noticed through this course that every once in a while I've had a plugin update and I've gone ahead and immediately kept them up to date. So click Update Available. And the Stripe Payment Gateway, interestingly enough, has an update even while I've been recording these videos. So I'm going to just go ahead and update, and it's as simple as that. Can't stress this enough. Keep your WordPress site and your plugins up to date. One of the other things in this area is, of course, to find a host that really knows WordPress and WooCommerce. Once again, Nexus is a fantastic host they know WooCommerce, and they know WooCommerce security. So again, we're so glad that they're sponsoring these videos.